I was asked to read a brief uh, biography on uh, Master Frank to give a short history of his uh, amazing accomplishments and part of the reason that uh, he's being honored tonight. So, Grandmaster Frank F. Kovach was born in the Carpathian Mountains of Transylvania, July 8th, a very, very, very long time ago. I'm not allowed to say it. He started studying martial arts when he was six years old, learning sabbat. He later started studying Thai boxing and also became proficient in fencing, Western boxing, and Greco-Roman wrestling. In June of 1940, Frank graduated high school, and on August 13, 1940, he entered the military in a motorcycle unit. In October of 1940, Frank was recommended to take the placement exam for Ludovica, or West Point, in Budapest. He passed the exam with a high score and entered Ludovica as an officer candidate. While there, he had a weekly permit to practice judo and jiu-jitsu, where he ended up obtaining the rank of second degree black belt. Frank graduated Ludovica on August 20th of 1943 as a second lieutenant in the border patrol on the Hungarian-Romanian border during World War II. He became a combat instructor and trained his company in martial arts that they later used in combat. He was soon promoted to the company commander for 330 soldiers to protect the mountain pass, which subsequently was never breached under his command. On August 27, 1944, one year and seven days after graduating Ludovica, Frank was shot 11 times by a submachine gun from a sniper in a pine tree. When the sniper went to change his magazine, Frank emptied his submachine gun, hitting the sniper over 30 times. Frank spent over a year recovering in five different hospitals, with each doctor at the hospital telling him he would not survive his wounds, but fortunately he did. In 1944, he unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> in 1944, he received the highest military award, the Hungarian Congressional Medal of Honor. After the war, from 1945 to 1949, Frank was relocated to Austria, where he worked in the British camp for the British Field Security Service as a translator, as well as a combat and martial arts instructor for the British commandos. They later, I'm sorry, British commandos. In 1947, Frank married Eva Anodi, and in 1949, they had their first son, which they named Frank. They later had one more son, Steve, in 1955. In 1949, Frank and his family left Austria and moved to the United States. He settled in Washington, D.C., where he worked in a car wash and later became a bus driver between D.C. and Baltimore. Frank came to Cleveland, Ohio in 1952, where he worked as a mechanic and then in a factory. He later attended Fenn College of Electrical Engineering, or Cleveland State University now, where he continued from Budapest his study of electrical engineering. Later, Frank joined Reliance Electric and Engineering in the Quality Control Department. While in Cleveland, Frank joined the city's first jiu-jitsu and judo school. In 1953, he opened his own martial arts school, the Cleveland School of Self-Defense on 116th Street in Buckeye, where he began teaching his own martial arts style, known now as Minna Jiu-Jitsu. Minna Jiu-Jitsu literally means more arts together, and it's a combination of Jiu-Jitsu, Karate, Sabat, Judo, Thai Boxing, and Ground Fighting. A lot of people say it was the first mixed martial art. In 1956, Frank formed the Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt Federation of the USA, or the JJBBF. The JJBBF serves as a governing body of all the black belts promoted by Master Kovach, which numbers in the thousands. Frank is still the managing director of the JJBBF to this day. On July 31st, 1987, Frank was tested and awarded his 10th degree black belt at Mayfield Academy by a panel of three Korean grandmasters. This promotion made him the highest jiu-jitsu grandmaster in the world. In the early 1990s, Frank was inducted, and I believe Garriano, Master Garriano over here was the one who did it, uh, into the International Karate and Kickboxing Hall of Fame. Was I correct? You were there? Okay. He has also worked for 30 years in three different police departments as a sergeant and has also taught martial arts to several police academies where he earned the name Frank Pressure Point Kovach. <laughs> After more than 50 years, Mayfield Academy is still in existence and has the distinction of being one of the oldest continuously running martial arts schools in the United States. Over 10,000 students have passed through the doors of the school. Many students today are second and third generation students learning from the man who taught their parents and grandparents. To date, Minna Jiu Jitsu has seven schools in the United States and affiliated schools in Holland, Germany, 
Ecuador, India, and China. And to this day, uh, Master Frank is still on the mat teaching seven days a week. And on a personal note, I first came to Mayfield Academy when I was six years old. Thank you, but no. And this was the first man to teach me. And when I was a kid, I thought he was Superman. And now he's teaching my son. My son's eight. He's been on the mat five years, and I still think he's Superman. Thank you.